Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel, this is Sal speaking. Today I'm gonna talk about songwriting and since recently I attended a master class in songwriting that was offered by the festival I attended before, I bet you have seen me playing live in that contest where I actually made it to the final and it wasn't so bad after all. It was a great experience, I got to meet people and uh, I've been busy lately also writing a song for a friend who's going to uh, attend probably the San Remo contest, which is a national contest, uh, music contest where singers from all over Italy uh, compete to um, become a big, that's how they call the, the big ones, the famous ones. So hopefully this goes well and I'm doing this because this person really deserves it. So it is also nice in life to give, not only to ask. So. When we talk about songwriting, you know, we need to understand that, you know, some people say that they write songs because the market is asking for something. People say that they're writing certain type of songs because that's not necessarily what they feel, but it's basically what they are told to write, you know. Today, the music field has changed so much and since, you know, everything like marketing strategies and, and all this stuff has changed so much, and we can say that today, you know, social medias are so important in the promoting of your own music. So without social medias today, it will be almost impossible to make your own work, your own things known to people. But thanks to technology, we can write a song. I can write a song here and people from Australia can listen to it and maybe a producer will contact me tomorrow I'll let you know about that I'm not sure about that but anyways let me give you some tips on how to write songs before like telling you how I actually write a song I would like to you know tell you that there are so many ways to write a song and I actually learned this just recently if you don't mind please let me share my opinion about music I believe the music is something that runs into your veins. If you don't have music uh, running your veins, like your blood, you basically can't do anything, you know, it's just talent, um, you are born with it, you know, you can improve it if you study, of course, but you either have it or you don't, that's the thing. And I am probably one of the old school guys who write a song because he's inspired to write a song. For example, I wrote the song in my life and I wrote this song after my grandmother passed away. That's also a love song. So in my songs I tend to write about probably autobiographic experiences. So that's where the songwriting comes in, you know. Because if I am inspired I can write a song in 5-10 minutes. It doesn't take me a long time to write a song, it just it's a matter of being inspired, really. But there are so many other strategies which I haven't tried yet because of lack of time and so many things to do and work and study and you know I've got so much stuff on my mind but still you know I would invite you to do it and tonight I will do for the first time an experiment with you and I'll show you some things. So when it comes to writing a song you know I can you know let me just give you a little example for example in my life the song I wrote in my life you can see it in the link below So it's like, cause in my life there are moments I treasure and I feel deep inside and it will last forever and I see you smiling and I see you smiling at me. Okay, so let me show you for example this. Let me show you. Because in my life there are moments I treasure and I feel deep inside that it will last forever. You smiling, and I see you smiling at me. Promise I'll be strong, and so forth, you know. So, one of the ways to write a song is basically you can start from the lyrics, you know. So, an experiment that you could do is maybe, you know, to read somebody else's lyrics, and from those lyrics, you need to try to, to make a song out of it, which is quite hard to be honest with you. Let me see if I can show you something. For example, this this song is very nice. It's called "Comes Love." It's from 
Liu Brown, Sammy Stett and Charles Tobias or Tobias. So maybe I can do something like I can improvise something. Let me see if I can I have to still read the music, but anyways. I mean I have to still read the lyrics. Uh, Put your rubbers on your feet Cut a snowman You can get a little bit Cut But the song goes completely like it's another song. It's like, comes a rainstorm, put your rubbers on your feet. It comes a snowstorm, you can get a little heat. Comes love, nothing can be done. I really love this song, you know. And and we will examine the lyrics in a moment. It says, comes a fire. May you know just what to do Blow a tire You can buy another shoe Comes love Nothing can be done Isn't that true that when love comes You can't do much about it? Am I wrong saying this? I think I'm not So As I said before and I gave you a, I hope I gave you a good example of Something that I just improvised I didn't prepared before, I just improvised it, maybe it wasn't the best quality improvisation in the world, but this makes a lot of sense, you need to read lyrics, because reading lyrics really will open up your mind, and you need to try to sing a new song, improvise a song with lyrics that already exist, this kind of gives you like, this kind of opens up your mind, of course you don't have to copy and you shouldn't copy because that's you know, that's not legal, so please don't do that. I never do that with my songs. Um, so you can improvise by, so if somebody will write a, or if somebody will send you, you know, a you know, book with lyrics, you can improvise on the lyrics. You can start playing the piano or whatever instrument you play. Of course you need an instrument, this is my preference. But you can also write songs without the support of an instrument. Now, I'll tell you in a few minutes how you can do that as well. The lyrics of a song are really important because when you write a song, you must, you know, you have a message for people. You have a message for the people who will listen to the song, and this is very important that you write good lyrics because if you write good lyrics, then your message is a good message. You have a great opportunity to touch the people's hearts. And then if you do that, you will be happy, you know. So let's examine this song, it's an old song, it's a moderate uh, blue, bluesy swing, this one, and uh, it's really interesting. So it says, comes a rainstorm, put your rubbers on your feet. Comes a snowstorm, you can get a little hit. Now, so we have the idea of cold, it's cold outside and if something happens, you can do this. If it's cold, you can get warm. This is the, the meaning of it. But it says, can't love, but nothing can be done. You know? And it, it is true. If you think about it, the power of love is just undeniable. And it goes, and it goes into saying, can't a fire, then you know just what to do. Blow a tire, you can buy another shoe. Can't love, nothing can be done. So it is simple, you know, 
if there is a fire, you just, you know, you call the fireman or I don't know, you just escape, you run away, you call your man, I don't know, you do whatever you do, but you know what to do, you know. And if you blow a tire, you just know what to do. But when love comes, nothing can be done. If it comes love, nothing can be done. So if you're depressed, you can have a break, you can distract yourself, you can do whatever you like. If you're waking up in the middle of the night after a nightmare, you can still stay awake. What you can do is you can turn the lights on and wait until the sun comes out again. And you now you can just turn off the lights and maybe you can get back to sleep. But when it comes love, nothing can be done. So I really like this song, I really like the lyrics of this song are very clear, now, very simple, very powerful, but very clear. And for a songwriter, this can be a sort of inspiration and especially it is a great, great way to teach yourselves how to write a song. So my invitation, I've got an invitation for you guys, read as many lyrics as you can because the world is full of music and I'm, I'm talking about the 1900s so from the 1900s till our days please read all of the lyrics you can read because you will learn a lot of things you have no idea but this will enlighten your mind and you will be more inspired to hopefully make new songs aphorism helps a lot so read as many aphorisms as you can because in the songs many times the writers, the songwriter put aphorisms in it and because they will they uh, do enrich the song in a way so this is something they also use so yeah some songs really describe things and uh, as you will listen to songs you will put yourself into somebody else's shoes you will understand and you will see things because I think a songwriter before he writes a song he pictures things in his mind and then it will put it into words and eventually it will combine the music and the words. This is a little bit harder to do because if you don't have any idea about how an instrument works out, of course it's gonna be very hard for you to write a song, you know, because there are certain things you must understand. Uh, let me talk a little bit about this, the song structure, you know, this is very important and very simple at the same time. So in a song we have usually a verse, like the first verse, the second verse, third verse, fourth verse, I don't know, it's up to you, you can decide how many verses you like. So we will indicate the verse with the letter A, you know, people do A, B, A, B, blah, 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 they keep on writing this kind of patterns all the time. So we have a verse, we have a chorus, and especially in pop songs we have what is called the bridge, you know, the bridge is something that breaks off from the verses and it's not a chorus either and so it kind of break it kind of it kind of gives you a break between the two things and you then will you know as a bridge you will unite again the verse to the chorus again through the bridge the bridge is very interesting you know and harmonically speaking it can be very very you know it can be very very interesting because you can build something new that will build up you know um, to a certain stage where when the chorus will come out you know you will you know the chorus in Italian is called ritornello ritornello it means that it's coming back again ritornello is returning you know it's coming back again and so in songs when you hear a good ritornello a good chorus you know and this chorus is keeping on coming back and coming back coming back and people will hear it and will eventually learn it really quickly because the, the chorus if the chorus is well made if the chorus is good to the ear and it's pleasant to the soul why not you can learn it in no time and the song might become a successful song so let me tell you a little bit how I write a song and what I do for example um, I don't know I use a certain pattern of chords many times I do have the music on my mind so I wake up I have some ideas on my mind I have music so usually I start playing something like I don't know like Bye. 
something on top of that. So I will say something. Let's see. Let's pretend I am making a song about demonetization, and which is a big thing nowadays. So I write a song about YouTube. YouTube. I don't love you anymore. You are taking my money away from me. How to do it? I don't know. So leave me alone. YouTube, how are you? I am fine without you, but that's not true. I love you, but please don't demonetize my videos. This is a very stupid song, I just improvise it now, but this is how I make my songs. There is more to say, if you want to know more about this topic, I would be willing to make a kind of tutorial and probably in the future maybe I'll, I'm thinking about making even song tutorials for those who would like to you know, learn the piano and other instruments. There's no one instrument that I can play, or well, there's so many instruments I can play, but if you give me an instrument, I'll play something with it, this is for sure, there's no doubt. I hope you like this video and I hope you've learned something about songwriting. We can write a song from lyrics, we can use lyrics that already exist to play with it and write a song, um, just as an exercise of course. We can put on the music. So if you listen to, and I have an example here, I hope they don't give me a copyright strike or something. But um, So this is an existing song from, um, uh, from Gilberto Gil, it's from Brazil, he's a Brazilian singer, and I'll put it on just for a few seconds, just to show you something. Let me see if I can do that. So right now I will improvise the song with my own, I won't use words because I wouldn't know what to say, but I will improvise on the music that already exists and I'll try to make a song out of it. This is something that you can do to all who write songs, this is a great exercise and you should do that and you can experiment this technique. So let me show you just for a few seconds. Okay, so now let me give you, now I'll give you the example, I'll let you hear the real song, I'll try to sing it, it's really hard for me because I'm not very good with Portuguese. So, El que se fala con Deus Tenho que ficar o sol Tenho que apagar a luz Tenho que calar a voz Before they give me a copyright strike and this wouldn't make any sense because I showed you just little pieces of this song this really makes sense because so you can have lyrics written or you can write your you can write your lyrics and then from the lyrics you can make a song you can listen to an existing song so i'm talking about the music of an existing song and then you can build your song on top of an existing music this is legal in italy and they do it all the time or you can do as i do which i i play something and just improvise and i you know I just showed you the uh, YouTube song, Improvisation, it was just totally improvised, I didn't prepare it before. 
I, I mean, I, I don't need to prepare such a stupid song and hope you liked it though and hope you understood the sense of it. You know, there's a lot to learn, there's a lot to uh, talk about and um, I will put some links of, of my songs down there so if you're interested you can listen to my songs and please thumbs up if you like this video and thank you so much for watching and remember if you feel sad you better call sound. Bye bye!